Now at 11, at least 14 people were arrested today amid competing rallies in Portland, Oregon, both for and against President Trump. The main protests remained peaceful, but an outside group changed that and clashed with police. CBS News correspondent Chris Martinez has the latest from downtown Portland. Police sent off numerous smoke and percussion grenades to control rowdy protesters as Trump supporters and critics held opposing rallies in downtown Portland Sunday. USA! USA! Pro-Trump protesters this called for free speech. This group is very peaceful. We're just uh, freedom-loving Americans. Critics of the president say they want more transparency from the White House amid investigations of possible ties between the Trump administration and Russia. The biggest message would be, we know this is wrong. Authorities bolstered their presence with FBI agents and Homeland Security, anticipating large crowds and potential violence. Police made several arrests and confiscated a number of illegal home weapons. Police shut down this park after they say a small number of protesters started throwing bottles at officers, but they say most of the day's rallies remain peaceful. The rallies took place in the wake of a deadly attack aboard a Portland train. Police say 35-year-old Jeremy Joseph Christian shouted anti-Muslim hate speech at a teen wearing a hijab, then stabbed and killed two bystanders who tried to stop him. Portland police say they trained for weeks in anticipation of the protests. Chris Martinez, CBS News.